We now welcome national security and foreign policy analyst Irina Zuckerman, and she joins us from New York. Irina, thank you so much for your time on this complicated situation. There are several factors that seem to be drawing Iran and Russia closer together at the moment. Sanctions, opposition to Western policies, the global energy crisis, and now Iran being able to supply Russia with drones. You have written extensively on this topic. What common objectives did you find in your research? Despite the fact that Russia and Iran have significant long-term geopolitical differences and also tactical differences over a number of issues, right now uh, getting Western influence out of the Middle East is a major common objective. They're aligning uh, with other actors as well, including China. Um, uh, Iran, uh, you not. Iran does not have particularly any long-term goals in Ukraine specifically, but finds it advantageous to support Russia on its issue, uh, on this issue. Russia and Iran have had a long history of distrust, tensions, but when it comes to opposing uh, the United States and also, uh, ben and also promoting their own agendas in the Middle East and elsewhere, they find common ground. Uh, Iran is also looking to extend its influence into Europe and believes that Russia's uh, enhanced uh, impact in uh, inside uh, Europe and its opposition to NATO will facilitate Iran's own objective in Europe as well. Now we're talking about these shifting relations across the hemispheres. The U.S. president was in Saudi Arabia earlier this month meeting with Gulf leaders. Obviously, oil supply is a major concern for Europe. How are the Western energy policies right now pushing Moscow to strengthen ties to Tehran? Your thoughts? Uh, both countries have taken advantage of the, U of the U.S. and also European policies on energy, in particular anti-fracking and green movements. In fact, uh, uh, Russia has infiltrated those movements in both Europe and the United States as recent investigations uh, in uh, both uh, British, uh, uh, Central European and U.S. Um, publications have shown they have used former uh, Stasi, that's uh, Eastern German intelligence, uh, to penetrate those networks and to push anti-fracking agenda to the benefit of Russia's economy. Uh, and Russia, uh, by aligning itself as, a, um, as an informal uh, spokes, uh, a spokes actor for, on behalf of the U.S. in negotiations with the Iran deal, also positioned itself from benefiting from any sanctions uh, windfall right. uh, related to energy as well. It certainly is a very complicated and dynamic situation looking at these changing geopolitical relations across the board. National Security and Foreign Policy Analyst Irina Zuckerman, thank you so much. Live from New York, appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.